Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make pineapple coleslaw. We're going to give a coleslaw a punch of Hawaiian flavor. It's still summertime out there, so I know y'all still want some cool, refreshing new dishes to make. This one I am pairing with a cola barbecue chicken that I have in the crock pot back here. Now, if you haven't seen that one yet, I will link it down below in the description box. We also are going to make a dreamy, creamy dressing that's also going to have kind of a Hawaiian punch to it. That'll just, oh, it's going to be so good. Y'all ready? Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to start off with some veggies that we all like in a coleslaw. And the first thing we've got is a head of cabbage that I've taken off the outer layers and just washed off. I'm just going to cut off some of the sides. We're going to keep this to about three cups of shredded cabbage. So I'm just going to kind of cut around it. There we go. And probably one more. Don't worry. I'll use that. I like to put cabbage in salads. We can saute that down with some potatoes and bacon. There's lots of ways that you can finish that off. Or if you want to make just a huge coleslaw, then you can use all of it. I'm going to take my sharp knife and I'm just going to go very thin and then just slice it. Just make sure you keep your fingers in. I'm not using a red cabbage today, but boy, that would really be good in here because it would just add some color. Yeah, whatever you have. Now, I'm, I feed five people in this house at any given point in time. Now, if it's meat, my mother doesn't eat it since she's vegetarian, but she will eat the coleslaw here. So that'll be like five people eating coleslaw. And I always love leftovers in the refrigerator. This is how fast you can shred your cabbage. So you don't need to bring out a food processor. Just cut very thin. Pull your fingers in. That way you don't cut those. And then just keep turning your cabbage. The dressing will really help softening up the cabbage, so don't worry about that. I'm almost feeling like this is enough right here. Now, I had one more, but I don't know. I think this right here is plenty, so I'm going to go ahead and put this all into a bowl. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. I'm probably going to shred this up. I said I wasn't going to use it, but you know what? It just needed to be used. There we go. I've got some green onions that I'm going to use. Now I've already washed these off and I'm just going to cut off the tops. I'm going to cut off the ends. And I'm going to start down here at the green end and thinly slice them. Now if you want to put red onion in there or yellow onion in there, you can do that also. Cut up the whites just a little bit. All right, we're going to add that to our cabbage. Green onions smell good. Yep. All right, we're just going to use one carrot. I'm going to peel it. I'm going to cut off the end. I'm just going to take a box grater and use the biggest side. And I'm going to shred the carrot. Give it a nice freshness, some color to the salad. Let's see what we got. Let's add that to our salad. Okay, 
Okay, to give it that Hawaiian flair, we're going to be adding pineapple. So I have one can, 20 ounces of pineapple chunks. What we want to do is drain these so that we can get the pineapple chunks into our salad here. Don't drink the juice. <laughs> we need it for the dressing later on. So hang on to that juice. So I'm just going to pour these into a strainer. That way we can hold on to that juice. Just going to take a fork and just kind of push on the pineapple. Get any of the excess juice out. Now if you have pineapple rings, that's fine. You can just cut them up into pieces. If you have the tidbits, you can use the tidbits. They're smaller, you can do that. Okay, now we're gonna add it into our salad. So don't drink that juice. You can drink what's left after we're finished with the dressing. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? All right, I'm gonna take some tongs, mix this all together. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna make that creamy pineapple dressing. So here are the ingredients that we're gonna be needing to make our dressing. You got the pineapple juice, we've got mayonnaise, sour cream, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, salt, and pepper. So we're gonna start by adding one third cup of mayonnaise just to a small bowl. Quarter cup of sour cream, three tablespoons apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of brown sugar. We've got that pineapple juice. We're going to add three tablespoons. One teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon black pepper. We're gonna whisk this all together. Oh, it looks so good in there. Smell, mmm, yeah. Make sure you give it a taste. That's good. Mm. All right. Let's go ahead and combine this into our coleslaw. All right, we're going to mix this well until combined. Okay, what do you think of my pineapple coleslaw? Hawaiian style. Now you want to make this ahead of time so that way you can put it in the refrigerator covered. Let all those flavors just meld together, soak into that cabbage and the carrots, the onion. Yeah, I got a little bite right here before I put that in the refrigerator so I can let y'all know what I think. I got a piece of pineapple on there too. Mmm. That's cool. It's refreshing. Mmm. Very creamy. I love that dressing. Mmm, it's so good. All right, y'all let me know what you think of my pineapple coleslaw, Hawaiian style. That's what I'm calling it. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification that we'll always know when shows are posted. Don't forget to go check out my Cola barbecue chicken if you haven't seen that one yet. That should be out before this one here, hopefully. Now to enjoy all of that, we're also making just some potato salad that has come out of my cookbook volume one, I believe and we're gonna have some baked beans. So we're bringing the barbecue in side today. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode.